Alright guys, how's it going? So, you know, it has been quite a while since we have looked at the snake shot ammunition attachment for the old 357 Magnum. Now, see, this thing right here, the old snake shot, it did. It had its moment in the spotlight. It had like a solid, instead of 15 minutes of fame, it had about 15 days of fame. And then everybody and their brother just was complaining just so much that they decided to nerf it. And for good reason, because it was pretty ridiculously overpowered. Like, even in Warzone, you could throw on the akimbo snake shot uh you know 357 and you could dick somebody down with full armor with like three or four shots of it which is which is ridiculous especially considering irl snake shot ammo bro i mean you, like you could take you can take a shot of snake shot ammo to the back from a 357 at like 10 foot and then you know walk away from it like you just got stung by a couple of bees so i don't really understand the logic there but it's an interesting attachment so that's what we're going to be uh, looking at once again seeing how it fares well i already know how it fares i'm going to be showing you guys how it fares uh you know right here in season five 2020 baby so uh, attachments first and foremost you know we, we got to take them we obviously got to have the snake shot ammunition do jig equipped then got a barrel um i kept going back and forth between the silver field ordnance and the 357 long and the 357 long is still the best option it just helps push out a wee bit further you're only going to want to use this you know right when you're up close personal touching somebody especially now then you're going to need the lightweight trigger because as we all know the 357 mag uh the stock trigger is just the fire rate's ridiculous ridiculously slow uh then we're going to go up to the laser got to stick with that five milliwatt laser just helps keep things nice and tight when you're firing from the hip because finally we're going to be throwing on a Kimbo dual wielding these bad boys and by the way i got a blueprint on that's why it's got like that engraving on the barrel and you got some gold accents on the cylinder and uh, maybe is that gold accents on the on the on the hammer i can't quite tell anyways there we go that's the five attachments full class rundown for the opera match we got the riot shield on our back giving our buddy in some protection we got eod ghost and tune up we got to change this though we're gonna get my frag back and then go up here and get a stun grenade but there you go boom and we're gonna be playing it on shipment we are in core and we got hard point i guarantee this map so this match has already started how much you want to bet there's no way i'm hopping into a shipment hard point match not started right off the bro oh my yeah okay it's meant to be even 15 seconds left on the clock let's get it baby teammates hadn't even loaded in that's another rare occurrence normally i'm one of the last people to load in we gotta take a mute everybody that's up here screaming in my ear holes cause we gotta take we gotta focus up bro we went a little i went a little bit too hard on fall guys last like uh, last night let me tell you okay so now with the akimbo snake shot so now now, now getting to it speaking on on the details here so, once again, whenever you're using a Kimbo, whenever you're using dual wield, the main thing to remember and what's just paramount and extremely important, especially with the, uh, with the 357 snake shots, is you want to fire... Okay, that right there, I got hit with the lag spike right whenever I took and slid into that guy's crotch. But what you're going to want to do is fire them at the exact same time because that just improves your chances of killing any degenerate individual that is in front of you at the time because it's very easy and i touched on this with the m19 and i'm gonna make sure i touch on it in any of the akimbo videos that i do right now i'm just off my game i straight up missed that guy bro it's, it's early in the morning i'm feeling a little bit on the slow side after that fall guys do jig last night because it was a it was a lit fall guys gameplay let's just put it that way but um <laughs> No, so yeah, you want to do both shots. For some reason, when you slide, it dicks with the ability to, to push both on. That guy's rocking with a 725. Saying so a lot, we're gonna be able to do against him up close and personal. Hit it again. Jake, what is with the lag? Mm, I ain't even gonna talk about the lag, bro. I ain't even gonna talk about. That's about the 357 snake shot. So this is still a viable option for a secondary and regular multiplayer. You definitely want to avoid this in um, in Warzone if you can help it. But in, in regular multiplayer, because of just the way the health system and everything is, it still works. But the range is just so. You have to be up close and personal because I've tried, I messed around with it on Shoot House for a little bit. And I mean, yeah, I got some kills, but just the situations you get in, if you're just over, uh, I mean, a couple feet away, um, the odds of you actually going in and getting a kill. Oh, my wiener, he's throwing it back at me. Throwing it back, baby. Bust it down, Tatiana. Let's go. Look at that. Lag right into that guy's throat and popped a couple snake shot rounds into it. Snake shot rounds actually do some damage to your throat if you got hit right. So I guess that could be a little bit on the realistic side. Boom, right shield saving my back meat. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Good Lord, this guy don't even know what game he's playing. And we, how did we get an assist off of that? We had our we had our 357 barrel up his rectum, brothers. Okay, well, you know what? It doesn't even matter. 
But I'm really surprised we're sacking on the leaderboard right now because, I mean, this, like I said, just like that right there, in the past, you could walk up to somebody and, like, one-tap them from five foot away, and now you got to put about four rounds into them, which is good because it was overpowered. But, see, up close and personal, you just hit the nice little double-tap two-shot. But right there, that 100%, that should have killed that man, bro. It was a two-shot to the upper body, to the upper torso, and he just took it and grinned back at me. So I don't agree with the results of that little uh, transaction, that little trading of the bullets guy it's the same woods character bro i always I always just certain certain characters bro certain operators certain skins just dick me sideways like that syntax just dick me sideways okay let's just let's just roll it on the hard point right here bro we got we got it we got to get it up we got to get these numbers up we're losing hard point it seems like every time uh you know i, I what just happened what just happened hello 720 lag hello we got one of them in the matrix ping spike in the 457 Let's just slide in on here. Pull a right shield out. We got we got to take and sit on this hatch of egg real quick because we can't be losing this bad. We cannot be losing this bad. Look out. There's a Syntex. Okay. Still got... Well, no. It's a, a, a rolling frag grenade got me. Phenomenal. So, yeah. So, I appreciate the I appreciate the feedback you guys gave on the Fallout. On the, I, I keep wanting to call it Fallout, guys, for no apparent reason whatsoever because I never even played Fallout. I mean, I've played Fallout, but like, I don't. I, I haven't like played it, played it. So I have I have no you know cerebral cortex um, linkage to, to to Fallout or anything. But I keep wanting to call it Fallout, guys, for some reason. So, anyways, if you hear, I almost put that in the YouTube title. But yeah, so if you hear me call it Fallout, guys, forgive forgive the mispronunciation. What is wrong with the what in the actual dick cheese just happened right there, bro? Okay, now we just gonna, we just gonna send snake shot rounds. Fine, do we get it? We, how are we at the, the fact that we're at the top of the leaderboard using this Akimbo snake shot garbage and we're losing by like flip right in the back, right in the back, right in the ghillie? So the, the okay, I'm about to say we we should have got him for sure and we did get him. Only fans, there's somebody named Only Fans on my team. I do not appreciate. It. Let's see if we can dick him down one with one gun. There we go. Hit this guy with the other one. See, it's not gonna happen, Captain. If the fire rate was just a hair faster, just a wee bit faster, we'd be okay. Still running right up on these kids, right? Whenever the ping in the packet balls just dicks me sideways. So let's stun that. Oh, nope. Nope, the time. And he's supposed to be going for the objective on the hard point. But instead, he's over here dicking me. So we're going to slam him right in the head. Okay. Hard point. How much time we got? Like 38 seconds. We're about to take and sit on this bad boy for the whole 38 seconds. Let me tell you. So let's take and reload the old Kimbo. It does take a hot second to reload. So that's just something you got to deal with. That teammate over there to my left, watching my back. We got a teammate in the middle and watching right side. Oh, my wiener. There's a Syntax grenade. I can already tell you, Frag Grenade's going to roll underneath this forklift in a second and dick me down. Oh, he already knows where I'm at. He already knows. They already know. They got a crystal ball on the backside. Somebody sitting in a cargo container just looking at the crystal. Crystal? Crystal. There we go. A crystal ball, baby. You can eat it with Frosted Flakes. You can eat it with milk. Whatever your heart desires. There we go. Point blank. Two broskies down let's just you know let's just let's just stop there okay guy in the cowboy hat of course he's gonna be the one that digs us down god dang it okay but you know that's the thing i like about hard point is even on shipment the game still lasts a hot minute i mean we got 24 kills we'll, we'll be finishing this bad boy out with at least 30 kills rocking the akimbo snake shot now some people have asked me you know about like rocking the 357s akimbo with regular with just the standard 357 ammunition and I would not recommend that. There's really no reason to do that. I mean, up close and personal, uh, I mean, it's still fine, but you're just better off. The odds are, would be way more in your favor to rock with any of the other, like the semi-automatic handguns. Mainly just, I mean, you got better, you got higher ammo capacity, you got higher fire rate, and it's like if you really want to rock with some Akimbo handguns that have high damage, just go with the GS-50. Way better off, because you can get like the same result, with the, well, like you can get a similar result, but way better with the GS-50. You can throw on, you know, the, 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 the largest ammo, uh, the largest magazine, then you can take and, I was about to say, bro, that, that pussy, but it's the same woods guy all the time, just eating bullets. And he's, I'm pretty sure he should be dead by now, bro. He's been alive for, since Vietnam. I mean, Jesus Christ, he's coming back. He looks younger than ever, better than ever. I mean, I don't know what kind of, you know, Mary Kay garbage he's using, but by God, it's working for him. He looks, you know, 20 years younger. Okay, but uh, anyway, anyways, back, 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 back to the Akimbo snake shot we got rock and rolling. Cause see, I could have swore I already took and done updated class setups for the Akimbo stuff, but apparently I hadn't, cause I still gotta do the X16 and the 1911 again. This guy's gonna pop around. Oh yeah, you thought, buddy, you thought coming around there that right showing you back. He's just copied. He's trying to emulate me. You know, you gotta take and 
flip follow the success emulate the success i got a right shot on my back i'm top of the leaderboard on my team that's where he wants to be on his team he might even be the guy with 40 kills on the other team so who knows not, i'm not gonna stick my big toe in that can of worms i can tell you that much right now but yeah so I'm, i'll probably be doing the the x16 akimbo next because i really do like the x16 akimbo i feel like it's like one of the best middle grounds uh between like you know the m19 between the 1911 a lot just because of the, the balance of the damage the fire rate the ammo capacity I, it's it's really nice but then again the m19 and the renetti with see the renetti with burst it got like nerfed you know a while back so like it, it's not nearly as good akimbo as what it used to be but it's still still a solid option but i would just i would recommend the m19 akimbo or the x16 akimbo over pretty much anything else right now just because uh, that's what i've had the best luck with and and the best performance the best consistent performance because you you can get solid like just like i seen with a 357 magnum with the standard ammunition you can still get some solid kills with it and get you out of some sticky situations, especially if you get lucky and hit some hit some kids in the noggin. I disagree, bro. You just got like four rounds of snake shot from like less than five foot away. So, you know what? Go screw your grandma's hamster. Okay, that's all I got to say to you. Now, everybody, I just I, I just got spawned into a gangbang right there. And a gangbang behind a dumpster nonetheless. That right there, that's, that's exactly what you want to put on your tombstone. Flipping, served in so a special force served in the war, died died in the gangbang behind the dumpster. I mean, what more, what more could you want on your tombstone? Let's be honest. That guy's about to shoot me in the backwoods. Is right in front of me. How much time we got left? Thirty four seconds. Other than what's actually hello teammate? Is that okay? See, I thought that that right. That guy's got to be Russian too. He's, he's just got you know. It's funny how like Russians like they, they they're just so distinct and it, and it's like but it's a subtle distinction. It's just something about the way they look. Except for the women, every now and then, like the the, the women, the right Russian women, they they can be they can be very nice. They can be very nice. Like you know, Nikolai Valensky, he was on to something. He was on to something. He really only had one wife. He was always talking about all his other wives, but it turns out that was like a coping mechanism to deal with like the fact that his his, his actual just one wife was like killed whenever Germany like invaded his Russian do jig. So there's there's a little zombies fact for you. Man, I, I guess I've been just completely immersing myself back into like the zombie storyline and everything. And oh my gosh, it's just got me so it's got me so hyped. It's got me so hyped seeing all the stuff about the um, you know about Cold War multiplayer, and then going back in for the zombies, and then not to mention the campaign. And see, I'm gonna have to play the campaign now because the campaign is gonna tie into the zombie storyline. So you know, it's just it's gonna be it's gonna be a complete and utter time suck. But anyways, that, there you go, guys. I see a Kimbo snake shot updated. We uh, somehow we lost that game. Nobody was playing the objective. I mean, I had 46 seconds on the hard point, which you know the rest of my some kid. Well, he just joined in like, but uh, the other guy had two seconds in there, and he was on the third one. The only fans, of course, the guy, the only fans is not going to be pulling his weight. He's just over here trying to suck the monetary value from society. But anyways, that's going to do it for this one, guys. Be sure to hit me up in the comment section. Hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share your friends. And until the next one, adios.